Good morning, it is nice and early, about six o'clock. We are off on a day trip today. We're going to some floating markets and then over to the River Kwai. So we're gonna go downstairs in a little bit and wait for our bus, I assume. I don't know what's coming to pick us up, to be honest. Stephen's got a good idea. Sit out on the balcony and wait for the bus out here. Oh, this building, by the way, I think I showed you when we first arrived. Stephen was like, oh, we've got a view, and I was like, hardly is this building, but this building is the uh, Bangkok City Hall. Do you feel tired? Are you okay? You all right? Okay, our bus is here. It's ten past seven. It's late. We've arrived at the floating market. We're about to go and get on a boat. We don't really know what's going on at the moment, do we? A bit confused. We've just been like spotted to different places and things. before we have to head back so we're gonna just like wander around like there's more, more markets around here we need to do a little bit of shopping for some gifts for some people so we're gonna see what we can find okay we've got a few little bits for some people isn't it weird we were just saying how you know when you've got a few people i'm sure like everyone is buying christmas presents and things at the moment some people are just so easy to buy for like you can just walk along and like you know a friend or family member whatever you can just be walking along and certain person you can be like oh they'd love that then that and that and other people are just so difficult and you can't find or think of anything that they would like it's weird we finished our little bit of shopping that we're going to do we're just sitting waiting for um for everyone to come we've got about 10 minutes left we've kind of done everything that we want to do i think haven't we yeah steven's grabbed himself a little hot chocolate okay not sure what's happening but it's 11 o'clock we've got my up and we're getting back on the boat okay. Go on, get in. in the cost of the um, of the trip, hopefully. There's something vegetarian, I'm not sure whether there will be, but we'll see. We've 
we've just eaten. That was really nice, actually. There was just like a plate of rice, as you saw, like a plate of rice, and then like loads of different uh, dishes that we could eat. And there was a vegetarian, like broccoli thing. So yeah, very full now. Are you full? Yeah. Yeah. We're stuffed. Gonna get back in the bus and keep going to the river quiet. I don't know how far away we are. To go. I have no idea. Okay, we have arrived. We are so confused with what's going on. To be honest, I think at first we thought we were gonna get a train to the river quiet. So obviously, it's a train bridge thing. Um, but no, we are actually here. So there's a museum, the Jeff War Museum, that we can go to, and then the river quiet is just over there. The bridge is over there. Okay, we've decided we're not going to go into the museum at the moment. We're going to... Oh, there's a toilet over there, Stephen. We're going to try and head to the river. We think. We don't really know. This tour is terrible in terms of, like, letting us know information. Stephen's just gone to the toilet. It's 1.40. It's not like a tour, really. It's just like the transportation, this thing. Uh, I think it was, like, £25 each or something as well. It was quite expensive. Uh, for what it is, it seems to be. Yes, yeah, so it's 1.40 and we've got till 3.40 to kind of just wander and explore by ourselves, really. Um, yeah, so. Oh, okay, so here we are. It's like two minutes away from that museum. We're on the bridge. I didn't realise you, you could walk along it like this. Did you? Okay, we made it across the bridge one way. We've just come off it now. The bridge is just there. I'm just gonna see if I can get some cool shots or anything from the from the side. So here it is. Here's the bridge. The bridge across the River Kwai. Hello, fam. I think our, um, she's not really a tour guide because if she was she'd be touring us but I don't really know what she is but she said when we got off the bus she was saying that it was the bridge was bombed in the second world war uh, by the American by the Americans yeah. by the Americans um, and the middle portion of it was destroyed and it had to be rebuilt I think it's the, the like the square bits see on the like the archways there's a couple of archways and then there's these square ones i think it's those ones that were rebuilt i could be wrong on that but i'm assuming that's what she meant she said there's a square bit in the middle that's the only kind of square bit i can see possibly look i still didn't realize i don't know why but it says take care when walking on the bridge move to safety platform when train approaches i had no idea that it was actually still used Am I, was I being stupid with that? Maybe. No, we were raising one's motor. Oh yeah, it's it's really nice at this end because yeah. there's no one here. Like when you're actually like right in the middle of the bridge, obviously it's crowded with tourists getting their pictures and stuff. Down here, as you can see, just off the bridge, there's no one. My plaster's coming off my foot. I got a blister on my foot and my plaster's come off. Well, it's like hanging inside my blister, look. Inside my blister, inside my flip-flop. Look, it's just there. It's supposed oh. to be like down here. It's just completely come off. While we're on the subject of flip-flops, we're just talking about them. Just saying, I can't believe that Stephen's flip-flops. Stephen's got like two pound flip-flops from Asda, which he likes. 
Um, he's had the two pound flip flops and master for about three years now. They're his favourite ones, so but not if he likes two pound flip flops and master, that's what I'll get. I was gonna say they, they've got sharks on, but they don't anymore. No. She's blue. No. They are they're his two pound flip flops. I had like an expensive well not expensive, but like I think they were like thirty five, forty pounds pair. Oh. That's quite expensive yeah. for flip flops. Um that broke when we were in Monkey Island, Cat Bar, do you remember that? That was a nightmare, climbing up there. And then my other flip-flops that were like, I don't know, eight pound that I bought out here. They broke. <sighs> these ones have lasted well though, that the man gave me. Where did the man give me these, Stephen? Um, oh, Da Nang. In Da Nang, yeah, the sports bar, the man gave me these flip-flops. We're heading back over to the other side to see what else there is to do around here. done here at the um at the bridge we're gonna head back to the museum we've got a little bit of time left so we might go into the museum but we'll just say back on the bus do you know how long this ride is i have no idea an hour and a half two hours again we have no idea okay we've stopped on the way to um the war cemetery yeah Oh yeah, the land on which... So yeah, so like I said, this is a cemetery for... Uh, I've been reading 5,000 Commonwealth and 1,700 Dutch soldiers killed trying to build the Thailand to Burma railway, which was the whole thing of like the bridge over the River Kwai. That, um, that's the railway bridge that goes over. So here are all their graves. There's a hell of a lot. Well, there's what, 7,000? Okay, we're done here at the cemetery. We are going back to Bangkok now. This is the first bit of information that I've known all day. I know 100% that we are on our way back to Bangkok after this. So no stops. Stop. I know. I know. <laughs> okay, I should say, I'm pretty sure we're not doing any more stops. She did, did, did tell us. That she did no say more no more stops. We shall see. Hopefully, they drop us off our hotel as well. They picked us up from the hotel, but like sometimes they pick up from the hotel and then they don't drop off at the hotel. Unless you're on the way. Unless you're on the way or something, yeah. So the answer to whether it was going to drop us off at our hotel or not is no. It's chopped us off at the bottom of Khao San Road, which isn't too bad. So I, I did want to see like Khao San Road again overnight, so we're just going to walk down there and over to the hotel. Oh yeah. Okay, we grabbed our tea on the walk home just from the bottom of Khao Road. This is going to be tea, caught on the cob. We're both still pretty stuffed from lunch to be honest, aren't we? Yeah. I don't know why, because we didn't really seem to have that much rice. We said there's hardly any rice here, didn't we? Well then we're still stuffed, so tea. We're back at home now and I'm in bed. As you can see, I have got a ton, ton, ton of work to do. So I'm just gonna 
sit in bed and do loads of work. I'm having some major issues with uploading vlogs and videos with the gaming channel and whatever at the moment because this internet in this hotel is just not working whatsoever and I am so, so behind with everything. Ah, never mind. It's our last day in Bangkok tomorrow. I've just been making a little plan of things that I want to go and see and do. So, uh, yeah, watch the vlog tomorrow to find out what we end up doing. So, thanks for watching. Hope you've had a wonderful day, whatever you've done, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.